Hi everyone, it's Vicky. It's been a little while since I did a video, so this is going to be a quick video and um, not very complicated. I was watching Tracy Fox and it was a video from last year and I'll link it down below and I thought this will be perfect for the next journal that I want to make. The next journal I want to make is a botanical themed good, um, journal. We went to the National History Museum recently and I took photos of all those little tags and things that are attached to bottles and labels that are attached to drawers and I just love that look. So what I thought I'll do is I'll start with some envelopes. So I've got some brown wage envelopes, which are these ones. And I'm just inking around the edges. I'm using Distress Ink and I'm using Vintage Photo. And I will do all of them first. I'll do all the inking first. Then I'll do all the embellishing and stamping and all of that. I do like doing it in an assembly line. I've got quite a busy day ahead of me, so I don't have a lot of time this morning, but I do need to craft. I haven't had a lot of chance to craft lately. Um, So it's good to get the ink out and play. Now this one's going to be a pocket, so I probably don't need to ink everywhere. Unless I make it like a floating pocket, and then it, it will matter that I've inked it back. It should probably be inside of that as well. around the outside I've got two big envelopes, one medium envelope, a pocket of some sort and some little square brown envelopes and I've got two stamps that have got text so I've got that one that looks like um, an invoice and I've got that one that's a script should go with um, a black archival ink but I think the brown will be good
so hopefully I was in frame for most of that. What I've done now is I've gone to my sewing machine and I've sewn around the edges, but I didn't want to sew the envelopes along the outside. So I opened each envelope and I'm going to glue them back together and they've all got stitching and I might leave the threads. I haven't decided yet. So I'm just going to glue these all shut. Hopefully it'll be quite quick out of breath from running up the stairs. And that is my pocket. I'm not sure about if I need something else there. I pulled that out of this book. This it's um, a book of music, and the person who owned it before me had made some notes in pencil. So I've pulled that out and I've used that as a label, I suppose, on this page. It's quite nice to have other people's handwriting and notes in your things. So I'm. I I don't know if I, this could be a floating, a floating tag, although it's got a bit of smudging on it. Mm. Well, let's just do it. So it does mean my envelope doesn't open as much because I've gone through it there, but I think it'll still be fine. So my little envelopes are finished. I've got a B on this one. It's the back and the envelope opens and this one has got a deer on it and that's the back. This one has some flowers. Here's the back. This one's got a little squirrel. I haven't seen squirrels for a little while. They must be hiding. That one's got a butterfly. I like the, the white ones. I feel like the background of the images dissolves into the envelope and you can't really see where the image starts. Like on these ones you can see a white outline where I haven't cut close enough to the edge. Um, so I like these ones. And that's the back. I've left all the threads. This is a, let's see where I put my scrap of paper. It's a little pocket. That's the back. I've stamped the back. And I've put some washi tape there. So it can be a floating pocket. And this is quite a big envelope. And I think this is my favourite with the yellow, so bright. And it's the back. So thanks for watching and have a good day. And enjoy crafting. See if you can try craft today. <laughs>